Hey guys, what's up? Um, Chris Adams here. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown. I just installed the Rigid Industries Series A lights in the deck of the Ranger. And I installed four greens and two whites, and they were the low output, which they're plenty. I mean, really, really plenty. They make a high output, but the low output is, is excellent. So when I was looking on how to install these lights, I was, you know, finding how to drill, how to go through it, do this, do that. But, you know, one of the things I wanted to to make sure I chose was the right set of screws. Um, you know, how was I going to wire the boat? Um, you know, and, and all those little ins and outs that they don't always show you. So, anyway, uh, what I did and what really worked well for me is I took a 530 seconds. That's a drill bit. It's four millimeters, just a DeWalt speed tip. And that worked well with the screws that I got. I got just standard Weathermax stainless steel screws uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, they're, they're a 10 by one inch, and you get six of them, and that 530 seconds drill bit fit these perfectly. Um, you know, it wasn't a lot of cracking going into the fiberglass, really at all, or, you know, it wasn't too loose. So, you know, these aren't like below the water line, so I didn't 5200 them in and, and lock them down in, in case I got to pull them off for, for really any reason. So anyway, 530 seconds drill bit goes into these 10 by 1 inch stainless steel. These are a stainless steel sheet metal screw and they're, they're a flat Phillips head. Um, also, what I did that really helped me was I took a digital caliper and I measured the OD of this. Uh, it's a marine grade. Um, the wire that Rigid comes with, okay? So this is the outside layer of it, and obviously there's a ground and a hot wire inside of this separate. So the outside of this is what's gonna have to go through the gunnel of the boat and down into the hull so you can get to the wiring. So what I did is I took a digital caliper on this, and then I just increased it by really a hair, and actually the drill bit that worked the best was a 730 seconds. So that's about 5.6 millimeters. And drilling that out, um, you know, I actually got the idea from uh, Get a Limit Outdoors. He's got a great YouTube channel, and he showed when they were installing his, he would drill in, and then they took it and angled the bit like this. So if this was a gunnel, they actually drilled like that. And what that did is it really helped me when I was feeding that wire in through the gunnel and down, you know, you have to go through, I've got foam up in the gunnels. So, you know, to feed that in, that wire is gonna actually be kind of kinked a little bit at an angle. So to actually drill it in and then take it and come down at an angle really, really helped. So then from there, I was thinking, how am I gonna get through the foam? And actually a coat hanger was perfect. So I took coat hanger, cut it off, had this and what I did is I, when I forced it through like that, it gave me a pilot hole to then, I actually took a flathead screwdriver, just a little short one like this, and went where that pilot hole was, I went up and kind of just opened up a bigger hole. And then I cut another piece, and you can see there's a little bit of an arc. So what I did is I used this as like a threading needle. So I taped the wires, you know, to this end. So the wires were like that. And then what I did is I just pushed it in through the gunnel and forced it down and kind of fed through the top and pulled through the bottom and it went right through. It, to be honest with you, it was actually easier than I thought. So anyway, um, those are kind of what I used to get it through the gunnel. And then rigid, uh, I think they give you like 20 feet of wire or something. So I cut that way back and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do to wire the boat. So I actually went and Coming from Saltwater, I know that Blue Sea Systems, um, they make really, really good products. And this is a dual, this is a marine dual bus. So what this is, is it has where you can run positive and negative on one bus, and there's actually five terminals on each side. These terminals have a size eight stud. So what I did is I went and was able to get some ring terminals. So these ring terminals are for, you know, an eight to 10 stud. I got these at Ace. Um, they're just a little insulated terminal, uh, actually 10 come in a pack, so it was perfect. And these were for the 22 to 16 gauge wire. I'm not sure exactly what the gauge wire comes in um, as a ground and a hot, but it's somewhere in that 18 to 20, 16 uh, size. So 
Anyway, what I did is uh, when I stripped the wire out and then I actually folded it over to give it a little more thickness when I put it in here and crimped it. So from there, you know, you just line it up on your buses and, you know, your positive and negatives go on down. And then you're just going to put your power source is going to come in as a positive and negative, And then all your other wires are going to come into all your different lights. So um, I think this was maybe 11 bucks on Amazon. We, uh, the wife and I have the Amazon Prime thing, which is worth it, definitely. And um, I got two of these, one for each rod locker, and then that way I just went into the rod locker, wired them all up, and then mounted the bus inside of there up and out of the way. Um, just a few other little odds and ends. I had some heat shrink tubing and, uh, you know, that's really about it. Uh, wire ties. Uh, get you a good wire stripper. This is a vice grip. It's spring loaded. Uh, one of my buddies let me borrow this one, so I appreciate it. After struggling with uh, my cheapy that has been good for so many years, they just get offline. So when you're trying to strip like 18 and 20 gauge wire, these don't really work very good. Um, but this is actually very good. This is I might actually have to steal this one from him. So um, anyway, that's. I think that's it. Make sure you have you a good drill to drill through your fiberglass. Uh, be careful, tape your fiberglass off so you're not uh, chipping your gel coat. And really from there, that's about it. So again, the drill bits were a 532nd, and that was for the screws, the size 10 screws, one inch, stainless steel, flat Phillips heads. And then 732nds drill bit to get the wire to go through the gunnel. So from there, feed it in, run it to your buses, run the power, positive and negative to it, and I ran to a switch on the dash, and we're good to go. The, the rigids literally draw zero power, so um, you know you can daisy chain them up, you can, you can do a couple different ways, but that's how I decided to do it. I like to keep my wiring all clean. Um, I've wired all my Lawrence units, I've done my structure scan, uh, my structure scan box, pretty all that kind of stuff. I like to try to do my own work when I can. So I actually turned to YouTube for some help and some of the, the questions that I had that weren't answered in some videos, I hope I answered in these. And if you got any questions, um, definitely hit me up on YouTube. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And I appreciate you guys watching and thanks for watching. Bye.